Hello ma'am, I hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the topic that you have given to me, and that is linguistics and the classifications of linguistics. Now I'm going to show you the PowerPoint that I've made, and I'm going to discuss from there. For a little introduction, I am Reynold from class F. I am semester one, and uh, my study program is English. Now, as I mentioned, the topics that I'm going to describe now is about linguistics and classification of linguistics. Okay, before we jump into the topic, we must know what is linguistics. Well, linguistic is the study of a human language, the structure of a human language, and a study on how there are many various languages to be classified and to be learned. What does that mean? That means linguistic is focused on basics of a language. It studies on how human learn a language and how the human can develop. And linguistic is like social science that shares common ground with other social science such as psychology, anthropology, sociology, and archaeology. There are many languages that humans have made and also language is definite. Well, linguistic patterns, how components of language interact with one another, how people gain knowledge from language, the way knowledge of language interact, other cognitive process, and how language varies. And also on linguistic, there are questions that are commonly asked. That is, what is language? And how does it work? And the questions are split again into what do all languages have in common? What range of variation is found among language? How does human language differ from animal communication? How does the child learn to speak? How does one write down and analyze an unwritten language? Why do languages change? And the questions keeps continuing. Because language is, is unlimited. And linguistic according to the expert or linguist. Linguistic according to the linguist. Now I'm going to take example of Ferdinand de Sassor. Is considered as the father of modern linguistic with his published lecture, Course de Linguistique General. He insists that language is not a thing, a substance, but a form of a structure, a system. His image is that thought and sound are like the front of and back of a piece of paper, and the paper is the linguistic sign. You can distinguish between the two, but you can separate them. And the next one is Noah Chomsky. Chomsky and linguistics is a broad term for principle of language and the methods of language study. Introduced or popularized by American linguist Noah Chomsky in such a groundbreaking works as Syntactic Structures and Aspect of Theory of Syntax. Linguistic classification. As for structure, linguist based on two things that is micro and micro linguistic. Micro and micro. And it is going to be mentioned below. First is micro linguistic. Here's what it includes in a micro linguistic. One is phonetics. Phonetics is a study of a production and perception of a speech sounds. It is concerned with sound of language, how these sounds are articulated and how the hearer perceive them. And the second one, as you already, already see, phonology it is a study of the sound patterns of language. It is concerned with how sound and organized in language. And Second one is the morphology. Morphology is a study of a word formation and a structure. 
They study on how words are put together from their smaller parts and the rules of governing in this process. The elements they are combining to form words are called morphemes. And the fourth is syntax. Syntax is a study of sentence structure. It attempts to describe what is grammatical in particular language in terms of rules. These rules detail an underlying structure, a transformati transformat transformational process. Five is semantics. Semantic is a study of meaning. It is concerned with describing how we represent the meaning of a word in our mind and how we use this rep representation in constructing sentences. And there are microlinguists, the second point of the linguist linguistic. And there is macrolinguistic, the second point from micro linguistic there are stylistics pragmatics sociolinguistics psycholinguistics neurolinguistics dialectology computer linguistics historical linguistics the linguistics this and it and discourse analysis and now you have now I have tell about the linguist, the, the meaning, and the structure. Now there are questions that are commonly asked. That what's the difference between a linguistic and a grammar? Grammar and linguistic. The difference between them. So the first one, linguistic, is dis descriptive, not perspective. Linguists are interested in what it said, not what they think ought to be said. And then the second point is linguistic lingu linguists regard the spoken language as primary, not written. So linguists is just focused on spoken language in, in primary, not maybe grammar is more into written. And language is more into language speak speaking. And the third, linguistic does not force language into Latin based framework. And that's it. That's a brief explanation of linguistics and its structures. And I give some uh, comparison between grammar. And linguistic. And that is my presentation. I hope you like it and see you soon.